My name is Vanessa Schultz. Um, my husband and I, my husband David, is he in the picture at all? My husband David and I have been coming up to the school um, now for about six weeks. We've been coming almost every week. Um, and we're just helping out. Our daughter Megan is a sophomore here at school and she loves the school and we just wanted to somehow give back to the school. And so as we were coming up we see that the school has many needs and um, we talked to Doug and Debbie about it to see what we could do and, and they have mentioned um, that down by the shop it needed to be cleaned up and um, there was a lot of scrap iron and so we've been hauling scrap iron now for about four weeks and um, it's a real missionary project because we've been working with a lot of the students and getting to know a lot of the students and we've got wonderful students here and um, in that time we have hauled off um, I don't know how many pounds worth, but we've hauled off a dump truck, um, an old dump truck that was here, and um, trailer load after trailer load after trailer load of scrap metal, and we've made almost $9,000 for the school. And yay! <laughs> and with that $9,000, um, we are redoing the ceiling here in the gym and um, we'd like to redo the bathrooms and the classrooms and just make the school beautiful, a shining light on the hill for the Lord. And this is a real mission opportunity that we have. You know, we pay money, we raise money to send our children to mission fields. This is our mission field. Our children are our mission field. And what a better opportunity that we can have to give back to the Lord and give back to our children than to come here and work and to build school pride, where this is a place that people come in and they walk and they say, wow, this is really nice and this school has been blessed by God because it has been richly blessed by God. And if you'll come and you'll work and work with these children, oh, these are good kids. They just, they're so sweet. Every time we walk in the door, it's, hey, Mrs. Schultz, hey, Mrs. Schultz, there's hugs. And I know their names now and they're good kids and we've just really enjoyed the work and so I would encourage each and every one of you if you've got the opportunity to come and help it doesn't have to be a lot sometimes if you've just got a day call and say hey we've got a day what can we do or if you've got more time come volunteer more time but we're gonna start doing more and more um, parent um, work bees where we come and help out we just like to give back so thank you for your time and I can just encourage you and you know if you can't come money is always a good thing and prayers are even better so just appreciate your time Church, we're going to see people here to help. If you can hear my voices, please come to me. Church, we're going to see people here to help. If you can hear my voices, please come to me. Church, we're going to see people to hear my voices, please come to me.
Alright, we gotta straighten out this something. We got a pregnant woman, she wants water, and a hospital. Oh, that's, that's triage. Yeah, well, we got her in the media. Get her some they need help over there. Yeah, you can say, look, we got some water, here's some water. Okay. Stay by him until the professionals get here. Okay. okay. Don't leave him. All right, what about the water. For what? Who's we'll going to take care of the water? The pregnant lady wants water. I'll get somebody else to. Okay. Okay. You had to make up people that died. All right, let's make room for everybody. I want to make a nice circle so we can talk to everyone. So if you can stand on the outskirts of the concrete here, people slide over this way. Mario, slide down. Levi, come on this way. I want to make a nice circle here. Don't sit on the painting tables. You won't be interacting with me. Come over here. Can we stand on the... Oh, does that hurt? <laughs> to, to start the incident, I was in the office area, and I heard two search and rescue teams come in. They found Mr. Knapp right away, and then they seemed to proceed down the hallway. And I was like, ah, oh, they didn't do a good search. And so I like sat up, and I was going to... Because uh, Miss Caitlin was in there watching too, and I was gonna tell her, you know, they forgot about me. And then all of a sudden, the search team came around the corner, and they were doing a systematic search. And so that was very good. Um, the team that came back through the office, and they stayed as a team, came to me, rolled me over, saw I was dead, and then at that point, I started observing. I came out here. Um, I thought everything was set up real nice. Uh, real organized, uh, right down to the fact that there's just a slight breeze going that way, and that's something that's always very important when you um, come up on a disaster is to always be upwind of the disaster because you don't know what types of fumes, if there's fire or or any other toxins in the area. Good job, Megan. Yeah. Good Picking diet. up on um, <laughs> respectful, um, positive. Uh, yeah, the girls, I'm sorry, but you guys did good. Like, I mean, I'm yeah, sorry. because I was giving them a hard time. <laughs> but yeah, good job. Uh, you were, your voice was calm, and that's important for the victim to be positive about it and keep the other person that's going crazy, especially in this situation that you don't know what you're doing. In me, you kept calm, and that was good. Yes, and also the politeness that they're talking about. The group that came to me, they were very polite. I had questions. They did their best to answer them and were, you know, informed me very matter-of-factly um, what I needed to know as a victim and everything. So good. The politeness was good. good. And they, well, almost everybody, but most everybody did everything that they were told. And I was really happy about that. When the people were first going around, they were doing the size up, and I said, are you guys going to put out the fire? And they're like, no, we're just doing the size up real quick. We're not fire suppression. I thought that was good. They went back, told the people there's a fire, and then they sent people specifically to go put out the fire. So they reported the fire first before just taking action.